My name is Sergeant Thomas Schnepp. I'm a 1721, a cyber defensive operator, and I'm from Eaton Rapids, Michigan. Did you have a previous NLS before you were 1721? So I originally was a 2651, and then I lap moved into the 0689 MOS, and then became an 0688, and now I'm a 1721. When you came into the Marine Corps, did you know anything about the cyber field or, any, or, or Tier 689 or anything like that? I knew absolutely nothing about the 06 community or cyber field. Uh, originally, I signed a DD contract, which is just an Intel contract. So I had presumed that I was going to be doing some kind of Intel analyst or CI Humit related thing. And then what happened? <laughs> and then I was uh, sent to be a 2651. They pulled this in and asked, you know, who likes Star Wars? At which point they went, oh, okay, you guys, you're going to go be the data guys. And what did you think when you got that job? Uh, I was pretty interested in it. It sounded like an interesting field, and I really didn't have a direction that I specifically wanted to go. I had just done well on my ASVAB, which seems to have been unusual for my RS. So he decided to try to get me to go Intel, and I agreed. After a few years in that, in that job, what what was kind of the impetus to make you to make you look at um, doing defensive cyber operations? Really, what it was was I wanted to be more technical. Uh, I was at Intel Battalion, and a lot of what we do there as 2651s was to manage the network administratively. There wasn't much hands-on gear work to be done. And uh, what would you what would you say to the Marines out there who are thinking about lat moving into cyber, whether it's from you know, Motor T, whether it's from Intel, from, from infantry, what would you say to them? Uh, make sure that you're taking the time to pick up some of the information that you need to be successful in our field before you do it. Um, right now, it's a very slow process to get people to the schoolhouse, but the schoolhouse is very fast paced. And if you come in not knowing anything, you will get run over with it. And once, once they get here, is it worth it? Is it, an, is it an interesting job? Do you enjoy it? I do very much so enjoy it. It's very, it's always on the front edge of what's happening. It's constantly changing. You have to learn new tools, new, uh, new procedures every day. Um, so it's always a new adventure, which is great.